Hello and welcome to the video for the Year 9 Pathways Evening. The aims of this evening is to find out which courses are available, to learn about our three pathways and to help us all decide which is the right pathway for you. Our Key Stage 4 curriculum in Years 10 and 11 is made up of core subjects that everyone will study and also additional subjects that some students can choose to study. Our core subjects are there on the screen. It's worth pointing out that the second from bottom life skills is a non-examined subject in which all students study one hour per week. We offer three curriculum pathways at Bridlington School, the blue, purple and orange pathways. We've already streamed students onto the pathways which we think are most beneficial for them and we've determined this using attitude to learning current working descriptors, reading scale scores, prior attainment, attendance, those sorts of things. If after tonight you feel that you would like to move pathways, we do need meetings with the head of science if you are thinking of moving in or out of the blue pathway, or the head of EBAC if you're thinking of moving in or out of the purple pathway. And for some pathways, there are additional subjects which I'll go through in a second. We, we are aiming to have 50% of our students studying the EBAC, which is the blue or purple pathways. The reason for this is there are uh, evidence suggesting that um, students have greater opportunities if they study an EBAC suite of subjects at GCSE, and that's for destinations, but it's also based on the fact that students um, do seem to have higher English and maths GCSE grades because of studying an EBAC suite of subjects at GCSE. The government also has set us a target by nine, uh, of 90% of students studying the EBAC by 2025. So of our three pathways then, we have the blue pathway, which is nine academic subjects made up of eight core subjects you'll see there on the left and one humanities subject. So that's geography or history biology, chemistry and physics in bold on the screen. They are separate GCSEs if you choose to study triple science. It's no harder than if you study additional science. However, there is more hours allocated to study it because there is more content to cover. The purple pathway is made up of seven core subjects, one humanities subject and one additional subject. So you can see on the right hand side there, the additional subjects there are eight individual choices, but 10 subjects to choose from because you cannot do art and textiles at the same time. You have to choose art or textiles or music or drama. And the orange pathway, the final one that's made up of six core subjects, one humanities subject and two additional subjects. The timeline. So if you uh, for today, we aim to get everyone on the right pathway to agree that and confirm it. On Thursday, the 8th of February, that's the deadline for submitting subject choices using an online form. And the link to that form will be sent out on the 5th of February. And between March and April, we will distribute all the final subjects and we will inform students and parents. This is what the form looks like. So you'll see there's some general uh, questions about the student's name and what their humanities choice is on the first page. And then at the bottom of that, it's which pathway are you on? And it's really important that you put the pathway that has been agreed um, with us during the pathways evening. And then after that, you'll be asked uh, possibly some questions regarding which additional subjects you have as a preference. But we ask for four um, preference in rank order of which one you would do first, second, third and fourth. And that's because we might not be able to allocate your first preference if students, if not enough students have chosen that course, we might not be able to run it. So we do need uh, four choices from you. The timeline going forward. So this is the uh, week beginning the 22nd of January. Students have had an introduction to Pathways and had talks with um, various people in and out of lessons and careers guidance is ongoing. We, next week, the week beginning the 29th of January, we have the Pathways subjects who will be talking to students in lessons. And the next week, we have the compulsory subjects, the week beginning the 5th of February. So going on to careers then, our motto is the uh, they hand on the torch of life. And it's really important we talk about opportunity as students as part of our Bridlington School family. 
Our careers team is Mr Pick and Miss Driver and they will be uh, talking to students about having the end in mind. So really thinking about where do you want to end up, what career do you want, do you want to go to university, things like that. And then working back towards the pathways choice to make sure you make the right choices now that open the doors to that future that you want. So the GCSE requirements for certain careers, primary teachers, nurses and midwives and possibly nursery and EYFS staff are required to have grades four in English and maths and one science GCSE. Universities require at least a grade four in English um, to uh, study at university. And as we mentioned, the students on EBAC um, pathways are more likely to achieve higher in English and maths. So that's why we're pushing that pathway um, as being really important for our students. Some, uh, some universities accept English language or English literature, whereas some uh, universities do specify that they need a grade four in English language. Some universities also require a foreign language if you want to study English at university, and some also ask for grades six and seven in English if you want to study a foreign language. And then we go on to medicine. Each medical school have their own GCSE requirements, and these range from five grade sixes to seven grade sevens with specific subject requirements. All of them require either sixes or sevens in English and maths, and some, for example, the University College London expect applicants to have a foreign language at GCSE as well. There's useful websites on the uh, screen there, so do feel free to uh, navigate to those if you would like further advice outside of what's been offered in school. And then what next? So it's to find out uh, what's uh, on offer. If you're not in attendance at the evening, we do encourage you to get in contact. And if you are on the correct pathway, essentially, all we need you to do is sign the uh, pathways confirmation form and then send that uh, back into school. Um, and that's for the blue, purple or orange pathways. And then if you do would want to change your pathway, you would need to see or have a meeting with Alex Goodall or Tony Stevenson for further information on the blue or purple pathways. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.